before you uh, discovered us here at Laughing Vikings, um, were you already auditioning at all or what were you doing for self tapes or did you um, did you find us because mm -hmm. you knew that you were starting to audition? I like, know. Uh, yeah. So uh, before I started professionally, I was I was kind of first thing I did, I joined all these community groups on Facebook um, and I was keeping an eye on audition. Sometimes they posted by on Facebook these pages and I would audition for them. And I was asking my friends and sometimes my husband. Um, but one thing was very, very a little bit of frustrating or sometimes disappointing is that unfortunately people are not available all the time. Um, and I wanted, and it's hard <laughs> sometimes when you're auditioning with your family members, it ends up in a fight. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, so, why did I get divorced? Oh, because me and my husband <laughs> argued about an audition. I know. <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it was kind of, and also I was feeling bad, you know, to troubling people, right. my friends, and asking them to come and join at odd hours and trying to, then I had to do a few more, like some takes, and I don't know if they have enough patience. So, yeah, it was, it was such a, uh, I didn't feel like I was giving my 100%. I, was, I didn't feel like I was giving my 100%. So I wanted I wanted a service, someone who would... Uh, and also I want to have a space where it's not judgmental, especially when you're starting off, right? You, uh, you know, lack of confidence. And when someone says something, it's just going to get stuck in your head. So I was looking for a safe, um, a kind of welcoming. Um, and also I was looking for someone who could give me some pointers not just read it and i have i would have no idea some friends like read for me and they have no idea they just read it and i'm i kind of wonder oh, did i do it right or should i have done it better and how do i make it better and i just kind of go crazy in my head and and i can't i don't have any ways to talk to them so all these things are missing um trying to auditioning with friends and family members yeah right. then then through tom's class i met you and and it was, yeah, it took off from there. Yeah, it's very common. A lot of actors do it either just out of necessity, not having another a place or not having a connection to a studio to, or other actors to help them. Or sometimes in a money saving uh, mentality of, oh, I, I don't want to spend money to book a studio or to book a coach. Uh, but then and it doesn't really make sense because you're you're aiming to book a professional role in a professional production mm -hmm. but you're working with unprofessional people who they're not actors they're not directors they're not camera people they're not editors so mm -hmm. there's a little bit of um it's just um there's a disconnect there so i think um it's a great lesson is if you like if any tv or film that you watch all the actors are professional and all the crew are professional mm -hmm. so why would you think that doing an unprofessional audition with unprofessional people is uh is going to really work out for you long term and a lot of actors make that mistake and then you want to then you look back and be like okay how many of those auditions did i actually miss because i wasn't nailing it and and the power of even even if it's just an actor who has some acting chops just the one creative or two creative little suggestions or well, what about this or what about yeah. that that just dialing up your auditions. You're not going to get that from your husband. And why would you? And and um, the other thing, like you mentioned, is often comments or feedback you're getting from a family member. They're not they're not professional, educated acting mm -hmm. directions. They're they're things that he might say to you in your relationship. And then all of a sudden relationship stuff is leaking into yeah. what should be a professional audition scenario and all of a sudden you and your uh, <laughs> husband are having an, an, an argument unrelated to the scene and you're yeah. like oh why are you doing this oh why are you doing that <laughs> and all Imagine, sudden, yeah. <laughs> so we're saving marriages here we're as saving well, marriages so yes if you're, if you're married <laughs> and take the stress off and and it's like yeah doesn't matter what, what your spouse is out there of course even if you have the most supportive spouse if they're not an actor and they're not in the industry they're they're out of their lane so they're going to yeah. feel a little uncomfortable they're they're doing their best to help you but they don't really know how to help you um so you just put them in an uncomfortable situation and if it's your friends then you start to feel bad oh i'm 
I'm dragging you over to my house here for two hours yeah. or, and then they don't show up because they have their own life as well. That's yeah, the other thing that happens. Up, yeah. So uh, all of, all of those scenarios are the reason that we exist here at Actors Audition Club and Laughing Vikings yeah. is to alleviate that. So yeah. um, what else is it going to say here? And so what, how has that changed? Like, how is your mentality now when you, when you get an audition now through your agent, what's that, how does that process work or to, to someone who doesn't know how we operate, how does, how does the process work for you? And what, what can you tell people who are maybe hesitant about making that leap to invest professionally into mm -hmm. some kind of audition setup? I, I understand. I mean, I don't want to be um, a judgmental of people's financial situations. I understand uh, money could be a concern, but but one thing is, see, the thing is, if you're want, if you like Tom always says, if you want to get more, you need to invest more, and that's the rule of thumb, right? So if you want to, if you want opportunities, if you want to book real, I mean, other than commercials and, but for real acting gig, you know, if you want to book opportunities, um, even for commercials, I find it very helpful with Wiken. So I'll, I'll talk about it later. But yes, it's. It's, you got to put in money to get more. Um, so, and also the thing is, what I find is uh, with me, uh, the more, because I'm, I'm every audition, I, I come here and I'm prepared. Well, I make sure that I'm well prepared. I remember my lines. And then when I work with Brandon or yourself or someone else, it gets even better. And I feel so much, I don't care where they will, choose me or not, but I am confident that I gave my 100% or 200%, right? Mm -hmm. So what that does, it gives me um, more auditions because if you want to book something, first of all, you have to get more auditions. That will lead you to booking something eventually. So if I don't send in a professional, well-committed self-tape, I don't think my casting director would be willing to send me another audition my way. So if I need to build my auditions up, I need to send in, I need to start sending in um, well-committed, professional, well-played self-tape. It's period. Mm -hmm. So, so, so yes, yeah. so I would say like, you know, financially look into ways to be creative so that you could uh, invest or you could allocate money towards um, doing a professional self-tape. Um, and the other thing is, um, the other thing is when you're kind of doing uh, when you're paying for someone you know to do the self tape there's a commitment in place if you're with your friends and families you're always going to be this last minute thing um i remember sometimes a couple of friends um, um you know I, I told them go for a service but they they come to me but they will like not be prepared at all because when you know you, you slack off when you're friends and families so here there is commitment and, and and it's time limited. So when it's only an hour, it really saves my time. That's the other thing. When I started off, I'll probably spending like five to six, six hours for a small, you know, script because I don't have no one's telling me stop it and I'm not paying anything. So it just, you know, so I take it easy. So it, it, it forces me to be committed, to prepare. So I have to be prepared. I have no other choice. Um, and. I know that within one hour, when I'm prepared with the suggestions that I'm getting, my self tape will be, I could take it to another level. So all that, it's an incentive, like pushes me towards a better, complete, you know, kick ass performance. So you're not going to be losing anything. You will be building up. Certainly it'll be towards your growth. Definitely not, not the other way around. So, um, so I would, I would strongly recommend that, um, you do sign up for, uh, laughing like, and oh, any, you know, professional service. And I, I love, I love laughing like, and like I said, I did try like with a few other people in the beginning, there were other services. Um, I didn't find that the, the comfortable, like I, I wasn't very comfortable with other people I, again, like it. I don't know. I find it very easy going with laughing my kids. It's very easy going. I just said like in my in my audition tape, like 
it, it just don't feel like I'm even auditioning. I kind of forget. I in the halfway through, I forget, and I feel like I'm playing like a live theater or something. And especially with <laughs> with you and Brandon, you know, you kind of gives me idea and you makes me high, and I'm like, <laughs> I get high on all these suggestions, and I'm like, oh, I'm playing a scene. Like, I love that. Theater. Yeah. Irene getting high on her own supply. Yeah, we talk about that all the time. If it's not fun, you're doing it wrong. Exactly. Really, like some people, they treat auditions and it's just like anxiety. Oh my God, I got to do this. And they're so stressed out yeah. because it's a big opportunity and they don't want to lose it. But that's yeah. just the wrong energy. It has to be playful. And you as the actor, you're there to solve a problem for production and casting by yeah. being the person. Um, I love what you said too about um, when you invest there's a commitment. We talk about that often. Um, one of our my business coaches, James Wedmore, through his program Business by Design, and something he often says is the transformation begins with the transaction. Um, and the best example is when you give money up front to say uh, any coach or any trainer, but uh, use the example of a fitness trainer. Um, everyone knows, like there's. There's enough free YouTube videos and all the information in the world out there on how to get healthy and how to get fit. But when you make the commitment, OK, here's 500 bucks for three weeks or, or three months of personal training, you're going to show up. You book those sessions. You're not going to show up wearing jeans and work boots. You're going to show up in your gear, in your wardrobe, ready to rock with the right mindset and it's the same thing with um, with any professional investments, whether it's classes or audition coaching or, or audition recording is you have skin in the game is, mm -hmm. is what and 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 financial money is only energy like money. Money is, a, is an idea that we've all agreed on that has this value, but it's an energy exchange, too. So when you put money, it's like if you en enroll in a in a university uh, program or when I enrolled in um uh, Todorov's conservatory immediately I'm like oh shit I just threw over a good chunk of money that bolsters your professionalism and your confidence and then you're like oh I'm taking this seriously now and then that translates to how you act and how you um, how you plan your day and the discipline of showing up and, and making sure that you take advantage of that money and making sure that you optimize uh, all of that time so that you're getting the return on that investment and that's huge and you don't have that it's like everything, everything in the world with the internet right now, doesn't matter what you want to learn. It's out there for free. You can learn anything you want for free, but do you really put skin in the game until yeah. you swipe that card or, or throw some cash at it? So and doing it doing. the right way, doing it the right way. Yeah. I mean, you could do it in many ways, but are you doing it the right way? Love and it. and most of you know they say like you work hard but work smart so right. this is one this is the way of working smart right not just working hard yeah and the time saving thing you mentioned is a big one too yeah do it with your friends and family and do it at home where you're rearranging furniture and you're having to deal with them and you're having to do take after take after take because as a reader they're not an actor so they're flubbing lines and saying things weird or making it really clunky and you have to do it again and again and again and then you ask okay i just saved maybe you save 60 bucks or whatever you would have saved, but then you just spent four hours of your life. Well, you also have to value your own time. Yeah. Like you were time saying. Is, so, time is money, right? Yeah, time, time is money. money. And, and are like yeah. that's all we have. And time's the one resource that we have that is, is limited. We only get so much and we don't know when it's going to end. So you don't want to spend your life taking three and four and five times longer doing things that should, could take you a half hour to an hour. So... Um, it's just such a great lesson in in realizing like, OK, are you are you really saving money? Well, you're not if you value your own time and you're like maybe as an actor at the highest level, if you're getting paid a thousand or five thousand or ten thousand dollars a day on set, that makes your hourly wage two hundred and fifty dollars or, or five hundred or a thousand dollars. Then if you think of it, if you reverse engineer that and you're like, oh, I'm saving $50. Well, not if it takes you four hours, because if your hourly wage is $500, that actually just costs you $2,000. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So really think about that and think about the value of your time, listeners and, and viewers out there. Uh, Brandon, and you're one other thing I want to mention is um, I was going to say, oh, uh, being so one other thing, I mean, with these auditions, with the laughing whitens over times, the other thing, uh, the one of the skills that I built is 
um, being able to uh, play on demand, so on cues. And that happens. I mean, I've been on the set like at least a few times and I was told just improvise. They just give you a content and just improvise. Say a few, few, few other lines, like add a few lines to this, to this, you know, um, with this meaning. And they just go like this. And you don't get to do too many takes. And and you are so this is sort of this is like a restricted environment. And and you get an hour and you're prepared and 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 you give suggestions and you learn to take that on on the spot and be able to bring that into your work. So. Yeah, so you don't get all those, you know, incentives with your friends and families. Yeah.